two, the greatest three. Greatest slurping you've ever seen. <laughs> You're so bad, man. You're so bad. I'm. I am so much disappointed. I'm so disappointed about you. Maybe he can do it. <laughs> oh come on! Like that. See that? <laughs> Last chance. <laughs> I don't know how I've got through four years of living in Japan without making a video about Japan's biggest annual event. An event that sees 60% of the population getting involved and taking part. Whilst Japan's meteorological agency tracks it and forecasts it on TV as it travels from Kyushu in the south all the way to Hokkaido in the north. And it's not hard to see why when the wind blows and the cherry blossom petals fall through the air like snow in a scene reminiscent from an indie video game. Now I'm not the sort of person to normally care about flowers, but even I get swept up in the excitement and the atmosphere of cherry blossom season in Japan. First off, there are two Japanese words you need to know. The first is sakura, and that literally means cherry blossom, and the second is hanami, which means flower viewing. And those are words that you'd do well to remember if you're ever in Japan in spring, because you will hear them and see them everywhere, every day. And sakura is a major symbol in Japanese culture. I mean, if you look at the back of a 100 yen coin, you'll actually see it stuck on the back. This year, my friends Ryotaro and I threw ourselves into the Hanami festivities by visiting one of the best viewing spots in North Japan, a town called Shibata, 30 minutes south of Sendai, famous for its staggering amount of cherry blossom and beautiful scenery, where we tried various cherry blossom related sweets, enjoyed the local food, and just generally made fools of ourselves. Mainly Ryotaro. Here he comes. What, have you, what have you got here? Cherry blossom tea. Cherry blossom tea. Yeah, look at that. Is it good? Uh, let me just try it. Right. Oh, it's alright. It's a bit salty, actually. Salty. <laughs> yeah. I think this is um, salted cherry blossom. Salted cherry, cherry blossom. blossom in a hot water. All right. Actually, I lied. It's not tea. Let's have a look. How is it? Oh my lord! I thought, oh, it's cherry blossom in there. It'll taste nice. No, it's like, it's like seawater in a cup with some flowers in. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Lots of people are looking at me, so I need to pretend. Like in Japan, you have to always show appreciation. True. But I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Here we go again. What a poser. Was it right? It's good to see you're so youthful, despite your incredible age. Look at this. Incredible age. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a reason I chose to live in the countryside. Look at that view, it's absolutely brilliant. I have a weird obsession with mountains. I think it's because in the UK, we don't really have any. The only place you can see mountains is on like, Wikipedia. Yeah. That's the only place, That's we, don't, we don't have books. Yeah. No, seriously, I prefer the countryside to the city, big time. I know I live in Sendai, which is a city. Mm -hmm. 11th biggest city in Japan, but still, in Sendai, 20 minutes to this kind of view, 20 minutes to get into the country. In Tokyo, it's more like two hours. So the reason I can't live in Tokyo is because I can't get this easily. And also we are only 90 minutes away from Tokyo and we're here. See, my friend who lives in Tokyo, I can get into Tokyo quicker by bullet train from Sendai than they can from the outskirts of Tokyo. So if you want to live in Tokyo, don't live in Sendai. That's the moral of this story. <laughs> So, what have we got here? So, look at the, um, this is uh, uh, sticky rice on a stick. Sticky rice on a stick. That's right. Lots of sticks. That's a lot of stick. Yeah. All right. Give me the rundown on each, right. each flavor. Oh, OK. So, what have we got here? So, that's um, a sticky rice, but it's got the cherry blossom jam on it. Cherry top. blossom jam? Yeah. That's a okay. pinky. Looks good, this one. And that's a sesame paste. Sesame paste? Let me try it. Give that one oh, a miss. Oh, really? This one. Oh, that's Zunda. Have you heard of Zunda? Zunda, it's like a dance. No, it's not. It's a, oh, that's it's a, Zumba, isn't it's it? A green, yeah. That's Zumba. It's a green soybean paste. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And that is uh, the world famous red bean paste. World famous? Yeah. And I, I actually quite like red bean paste. Okay. So I like and this too. one. Soy sauce jam. Soy sauce jam. It's quite sweet as well, though. Well, I think we're going to start with this one. This yep. is the most Cheer appealing. Blossom. It tastes like flowers. Cherry blossom? I don't know how I know the taste of flowers, I just <laughs> no. do. Have you tried flowers before? I've, yeah, I eat flowers all the time. 
All right, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. Oh, seriously, mm. that good? Mm. See what I mean, flower taste. Yeah. Look, this is what we call cherry blossom taste. Cherry blossom taste. Yeah. All right, that makes more sense. This bit here, the rice mochi. Yeah. Like uh, rice that's been ground up and battered to hell. Uh, it tastes really good. It's like chewing gum that's edible and better than chewing gum. But that doesn't that doesn't sound good. No, no. <laughs> I'm really bad at food reviews. I knew that. Thanks for your Sesame? Yes, it's black right. paste. Black paste. <laughs> Looking a little bit, little bit uh, uh, strange, the but... The word appealing doesn't spring to mind. Yeah. Sesame is quite salty, and the mochi is quite sweet, so it's a combination of salt and sweet. And that is good. Yeah, I really need to work on these reviews of food, don't I? Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing it tastes, really bad. It tastes like a sunshine lollipop rainbow. Gonna, that doesn't make me want to go home you. after this today That's and read a book on how to describe things. That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a small mountain in the middle of the town, and to get up it, there's a cable car. But it feels less like a cable car, more like a submarine, as it submerges through dozens of cherry blossom trees up the side of the mountain. Yeah. Whilst we were bumbling around the street, we saw a building with some friendly locals putting on a traditional Japanese tea ceremony display. And of course, we jumped at the chance of some free tea. Oh, yeah. In the UK, we don't put this much effort into preparing tea. We probably should. I always feel quite nervous in these scenarios. It's very, it's very, it feels very serious and yeah, I know. religious. friend in Hong Kong. Her name was Creamy. I'm trying to keep a straight face after you tell me. My friend's called Creamy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. Oh, my friend's called Creamy. My friend in Hong Kong. <laughs> Brilliant. Ruin the atmosphere of the tea ceremony of your ridiculous... <laughs> creamy friend. <laughs> ridiculous creamy friend. Wow. This is where we're going to have a lunch. I mean, the, the soba is not yet here, but... Look at that. Look at that. Wow, there's an owl, and then a samurai sword, and then a samurai armor. What's the significance of the owl? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just a, just a traditional <laughs> Japanese owl. No, it's a lamp. <laughs> have you ever worn samurai armor? Yes, I have. Have you ever fought in battle with a sword? Uh, maybe my ancestors did, uh, but not you. Not me. Uh, it's in it's in my blood, though. <laughs> do you reckon you'd know how to wield one if? If a situation arose, oh, definitely, you'd be able to like pick it up and take oh, it's on. It's not blood in me. You know, I just got to automatically. That's right. Just... That's, like right. That. that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how biology you. works. <laughs> the name of the uh, the whole set is called um, the Dish of the Lord. Dish of the Lord. Yeah. What do you say in Japanese? Uh, daimyo. 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 <laughs> I thought you were Japanese. Daimyo soba. Daimyo soba. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a real life Japanese person. <laughs> now that is a feast fit for a lord. That's right. So I'm sitting like a lord. Yeah, I'm Even though I'm wearing very good rubbish at sitting. That's quite a lot of noodles, though. Yeah, it is actually. It's got tempura, the rice as well, and uh, sashimi. Can you eat it all? Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, it's very nice. I think I can. I hope I can. Don't try it. Well, you, you will. I will. There's so much cool stuff here. Yeah. A big meal like this in Japan is very, very exciting because you don't know where to begin. Should I start with the sashimi? Should I dig into the noodles? Shall I eat the rice or shall I eat the fish or the, the battered raw fish? It's like, oh, I don't know where to begin. It's very exciting. You kind of just go in between each one. That's right. right? Yeah, yeah. It's really fun. And that's true because in European dishes, like you, they, they come one, one after another. Yeah, well, if this was the UK, you just get a big plate just covered in stuff. 
something quite cool about having like 25 different dishes all in front of you at once. Um, and, then, and then you miss the rice, so <laughs> <laughs> trying to look good on camera. Mm. It's like, uh, I feel like I've won the lottery. That's the best way to <laughs> it's do it. It's won My description skills going up, aren't they? Well, yeah, well, it's getting worse, actually. All right, how would you describe it then? Uh, what, the soba? Just the meal. Just the meal? Yeah. Or it's a, it's a dish of like... it's a dish of lore. <laughs> it is a dish of lore, but like, how can how would you describe it? How Dis would you describe it in a nice, a nice original way that isn't just oh it's delicious. Oh, it's de <laughs> Again, on, describe it. Describe it. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. No, incredible. Unbelievable. Wonderful just, dish no, ever. No, 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 your... <laughs> you can't just use adjectives. What? What I want, adjectives? I want a metaphor or something. Metaphor. Metaphor. <laughs> metaphor. It's like uh, it's, it's, it's like it's like something. It's as good as. No, it's a lot better than you know. It's it's a lot better than how uh, Chris has described. That's rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish. rubbish. That's true. Show me you're the man. Oh no! <laughs> you're right. You're trying to make the sound. Mm. It should come. It should come naturally. One more. One more. One more. Here One, two, Great three. Greatest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> you're so bad, man. You're so bad. I'm. I am so much disappointed. I'm so disappointed about you. Maybe he can do it. <laughs> oh, come on. Like that. See that? <laughs> How long have you been here in Japan? It's not important. <laughs> How long have you been here? I nearly put it in the tea. <laughs> <laughs> stuck it in the tea. You're so confused. Oh, man. it's all going wrong. Are you killing your chops to the boy, then? Last chance. Hmm. Last chance. <laughs> So we just had lunch. Yeah, we just had lunch. Pretty full. Yeah. And now you've spotted a bakery. Yes, I did. Well, what was it? Look at this one. What the heck? What is this? So okay, this is a, yeah. this is a bread, right? It's bread. It's bread. And here it's um ch uh, cherry blossom flour. Right. In the uh, bread. In the bread. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, and they are trying to sell this um, cherry blossom flour as a, as a, the specialty. Ah, uh, very lucrative. Very clever. Yeah. A lot of foreigners in Japan always have this vendetta against bread in Japan. Uh, but I think it's right. I don't really taste the difference. Like over here, this is chocolate palm, which is just bread. Yeah, it's just bread, isn't it? English bread, yeah. Uh, tastes just like bread in the UK. What's maybe different, uh, I mean, compared to the Western bakeries, is that maybe we've got uh, lots of bakers with something in it. Yeah, it's and quite that, popular in Japan to have something in the bread, right? That's right. Like for instance, this one. Curry donuts. Yeah, so what curry you know? donuts. Yeah, so there is a curry paste inside. Right. That does sound quite not good. Curry with donut? Yeah. It's not on my list of things to do. No, um, you should try that. I try not to judge a book by its cover, but I'm gonna judge it by its <laughs> <laughs> that you are, you are. <laughs> curry donuts. Don Cherry blossom season is one of the best times to visit Japan. It starts in late March in Kyushu in the south and ends in late April in Hokkaido in the north. If you're in Tohoku or fancy a day trip away from Tokyo, I highly recommend checking out Shibata and its 1,000 cherry blossom trees. It's definitely one of the most impressive sights I've seen in my time in Japan so far. The town is easily accessible from Sendai Station. It's just 30 minutes on the JR Tohoku line to Funaoka Station in Shibata. And if you're coming from Tokyo, you can reach Sendai in 90 minutes by bullet train from Tokyo Station. All the details on how to get there can be found in the description box below. Shibata also has a nighttime illumination, although hopefully if you go, it won't be as cold as when we went. Um, it's uh, 6.30 uh, in the evening, and uh, you know what's happening? You know, like, uh, I'm freezing, that's what's happening. And that's what's happening, right? It's that's snowing, that's what's happening to you. Like middle of April, it's snowing. That's right, and um, the flowers are falling, but at the same time, the snow, snow is falling as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.